Hi friends, Satyendra here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about map keys, nested map keys, combined map keys, and a special type of map keys. So let's get started. So what is map keys? So map keys are the shortcut keys created by the users inside the upgrade parameter to perform certain things. For example, if I press D, it will switch on all the datums, and if I repress, it will switch up all the datums. So I created a map key for this datum on off. And if you see, I have number of map keys here. I have this many map keys. Some map keys are for sketch, like circle sketch, line sketch, and some are for modifying the features. Here, if you see uh, the map key for calculator, this is a special type of map keys. And uh, this uh, sketch edit, it is combined map key. So we'll be talking about these map keys in this session. So we'll start with the necessity of map keys. So why map keys are required? So I'll give a simple example here. So I have a bolt. If I want to edit any feature of this bolt, suppose this first feature I'm going to edit, you just count how many clicks are required to edit the sketch and come back to the sketch. So first click, then go for edit, then right click this, and then you will edit this value. You will make 25 and you will say OK and again OK and this is how you finish this task. But suppose if you have a short key like select this feature and click one button and everything is done. You modified this value and again you pressed one button and everything is done. So now you can see that how fast you can do the same task using map keys. Not only this, some activity we do frequently like data on off or sometime if you are working for assembly, you will be using measurement frequently. So just press one button and activate this. So all this comes under map keys. If you create map keys for these things, your work will be much easier. Now just see how to create this different type of map keys. I will start with normal map keys, then I will go for nested map keys, then combined map keys, and then special type of map keys. So I will just remove all the applied map keys and restart the Creo. So here we are, now there is no map key applied with Creo. If I check here, the map key is blank, so we will create map key one by one and we will see how to create it. So let us start with the datum on off. So I will first switch off all the datums. I'll go for map key and now I'll click on new. I'll type D for data on off. I'll write data on off and now I'll click on record. I'll go for this. I'll switch this and this and say stop. Now say okay. Now we have created one map key for data on off. Let us see whether it is working or not. Press D. D. It is working. Let us try this on drawing. So here also press D. So it is working here also. So this is how we create map keys and now we will try nested map key. So what is nested map key? So nested map key means one map key inside the other. So when I press one key, it should run both the keys one by one. So for that I will create two more map keys and I will try to nest it. So I will directly go to the part. Now one map key will be fit to window and another map key will be normal to the sketch. So I'll directly go to map key and I'll say new f for fit to window and I'll say record. Click this and stop. Okay. Now let us try whether it is working or not. Yeah, yeah it's working. Now I will create a normal to the sketch. I will go to this sketch and here I will go for map key and new n n for normal to the sketch. I will write normal to the sketch and record. I will just press this. Stop. Okay. 
you know, just tilt it and say N. It is normal to the switch. So done. Now we created three map keys here. So we will first save these map keys. Go to map keys and say save all and OK. Now these map keys are saved in config file. So browse that config file. So here is my config file. Now open this config file into notepad. So you'll have something like this. You have three map keys here D, F, and N. Now my requirement is when I press N normal to the sketch, first my sketch should be normal and then it should fit to the window. So for that I will just nest fit to window to the normal to the sketch. And for that I will just write percentage and the name of the key F and semicolon. That's it and I will save it and close it. Now come back to the Creo and apply these changes. Go to file, option, config and import this. Select this. Say OK, yes, and OK. That's it. Now let us try whether this nesting is working or not. I will go to the sketch, I will edit it, and I will tilt it, and I will press N. So it is normal, and then it is fitting to the window. So now you can see that this nesting is working. Say OK. Now from this, you can understand that fit to window is a separate map key but uh, inside the normal to sketch we have nested it so fit to window whenever you press f it will work for you separately and when you go inside the sketch it will work as a nested one now let's have a small break and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel thank you so this is all about the nested map key and now we'll see combined map key and special type of map keys now let us create a combined map key and for that I will create a map key to edit a sketch for extrude feature. And for that select extrude feature, go to map key and say new. Type S for sketch edit, right here sketch edit and say record. Come to this, right click, edit placement edit now normal and fit stop say ok and come out from the sketch now we have just created a map key to edit the sketch so let us try it whether it is working or not select this feature and say yes yeah so it is working come out from this and now try to edit for this yeah, it's working so these two features are extrude feature it is working for extrude feature but let us try for reverb feature says yes. no it is not going for revolved sketch so for that we will create one more map key and then we will combine these two map key as a single map key. So let us start that. Select this feature, go to map key, and this time say new and sketch revolve. Give any any uh, name, no problem. And here also you write sketch revolve. Say record. Right click, edit, placement, edit normal then fit stop say ok and just come out from this now we have created one map key to uh, edit the sketch of extrude and one map key to edit the sketch of ribbon now we will combine these two map keys as a single map key so for that you go to map key and save change and say ok. So all new uh, map keys will be saved to that config file. Say close. Now browse that config file to combine. 
So here is my config file open in notepad. Now you can see that two new map keys got added here. One is S and one is SR. One is for extrude sketch and one is for revolve sketch. Now we are going to combine these two map keys as a single map key. So to combine these two, just remove this entire line from here, delete it and put one backslash here to continue. So from here, the same map key will continue till this end. Now you save it and close it. Now go back to Creo and apply this config to the Creo. Now apply that config to Creo. Go to File, Options, Configuration Editor, Import, double click and say OK and Yes and OK. Now if you go to the map keys, you won't find that SR map key because SR map key is removed. Now you have only sketch edit S yes. and uh, now it should work for both feature extrude and revolve. So let us try once, select this and say S. Yes. It's working. Say OK. OK. Now try for revolve. Select this and type S. Yes. So now you can see that it is working for both. That means the both map keys are combined into a single map key. Now let us create a map key to close the sketch. So for that go to map key. Say new and this time I will take X to close the sketch. I will write close sketch. Close sketch. I will say record. Say OK. OK and stop. Say OK. Now you have edit sketch and close sketch both. So let us try both. Select this, type S. It will go inside the revolve sketch. And once you have done modification, you can say X and it will close the sketch. So this is all about combined map key and now I will talk about special map key. So sometimes we use some other application outside the Creo and if you use those applications frequently it is better to have a map key for that. So for example if you use paint or calculator frequently while using Creo then it is better to have a map key. So let us create a map key for those applications which is outside the Creo. So go to map key and this time I am creating map key for calculator so I will just type C for calculator and I will write calculator and now I will directly go to calculator and here I just right click this and go to properties open file location and now I will copy this path and here go to OS script and just paste it then come to calculator.exe and copy the entire thing and again put on backslash and paste it that's it close it and now we say ok one map is created here so close now when you are running your Creo whenever you want calculator you just type C and your calculator will be open you can do the calculation so this is a special type of map key so this is all about combined map key and special map key you can combine sweep with extrude and revolve. So try it and I hope this video will be helpful. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates.